Jeannie and John Alcott welcome you to Word of Power broadcast today. This message can equip and empower you to achieve and receive what God has for you. We believe by the end of this teaching and time of prayer, you will feel the power of God in a greater way. You'll sense how near He is and how He desires to help you. As God's presence and anointing touches you, receive the miracles and answers waiting for you. We encourage you to contact us at the end of this broadcast. Jeannie and John are ready to pray in faith over your life. Now, receive a word of power. It's such a joy to be with you. This is Jeannie Alcott. You know how it is to have something go wrong. It's so frustrating. You have your plans, your expectations, and they just fizzle or they bomb. So you feel you don't have any way to go. I mean, what else can you do? It's hard to get your emotions under control in those times. But here's something that can help you. In those times when plans don't work out, remember this. You have other options. And when you take another option from God as He shows it to you, here's what happens. Instead of the problem, you see the benefit before you. In other words, there are good results that come. Sure, the plans aren't working, and it doesn't seem worthwhile to try anything else. But do. Do try something else, because God is giving that other option. And when you take it, you'll see the benefit before you. I'll tell you one of the most meaningful stories about how this happened for a couple. They had been planning their wedding for some time. And one of the big features of it they had planned was for wonderful foods to be served after the wedding. I mean, they went all out. They wanted to celebrate with their family and friends and have a good time. But then the unforeseen happened. Because of some problem issues that came up, they had to cancel their venue. The plans didn't work out. And that meant instead of being married in a lavish wedding, they were just going to go to City Hall and be married. The only problem was they were still committed to thousands of dollars for the catering deposit. There didn't seem to be any other options but to lose that money. They could have tried to seek arbitration to get their money back, but instead they wondered if there wasn't another option. They said to each other, Is there any way we could do something good with our deposit? And that's when they began to see the benefit before them. The bride had been a volunteer with a non-profit mental health service in the area. So the two had the idea of contacting that service and making arrangements for the caterer to use their deposit to produce special meals for those in need. Now this was around Thanksgiving time, so they made meals so the mental health service could have their annual Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey, vegetables, mashed potatoes. And the head of that service said, it really couldn't have come at a better time. It's an example of goodness begetting more goodness. Now on the onset, it seemed their wedding was ruined and it wasn't a great foundation for starting a marriage. Yet it turned out to be a great foundation. Doing something such as that pleased the heart of God, and it met a great need for those who had mental health challenges. So this couple will be able to look back on that in the years to come and feel so good inside because of what they did. Instead of watching that money go down the drain and regretting it for years to come, they will see the benefit before them. This is what God wants us to see in our life. No matter what presents itself to us, we have other options. And those other options will help us see the benefit of good things coming to pass. Don't feel that you have nowhere to go and nothing you can do when the plans don't work. Somewhere, in all of what appears to be a mess or disappointment, God has a benefit for you. Really hear that? I know what you're facing isn't what you desire. You're thinking, this isn't right. It isn't the way it's supposed to go. You've received some bad news, or there's been an incident, or a deficit or someone has done something to harm your plans. But what did God say? When you're facing that, He has a benefit for you in all of it. There isn't just one option, failure. You have other options because your God is so big and has so many different ways He can bless you. Don't put a stop sign in front of Him by saying, There isn't anything that can be done. I have to accept this problem. This failure determines what's going to happen. No way, no disappointment or mistake or problem or attack can determine what's going to happen. So find the benefit that is before you. It's there. Something good can happen. Refuse to allow your emotional vision to be so down that you can't see another option that God has for you. We can sure gain a valuable lesson on this from four guys in the Bible who believe they had other options. They were determined to find a benefit out of their challenge. 
and that's what you have to decide in your heart. I'm going to find a benefit out of this challenge. There's another option somewhere, and God is going to show it to me. I'll see something good happen. Because these four men believed that, they saw a tremendous miracle. It all started when Jesus, who had been traveling, performing miracles, came back to what was considered his home at that time. It was a small fishing village. Well, when word got around, many people came to his house. In fact, a crowd had gathered. They were packed into the rooms and around the door. No one could get access into the house because Jesus was speaking. He was teaching them the word of God and what it meant for their lives, how they could exist in the goodness of God and be restored. So everyone was drinking this in and receiving from his spirit. In the meantime, these four men had made a decision to take a paralyzed man to Jesus to be healed. So they picked him up on his mat, and the word used there means a poor man's bed. So here's a helpless man who's poor and not able to get to Jesus on his own to have him touch and heal him. But these men were sent by God to raise him up on his mat and carry him to the home of Jesus to be healed. Great plan. It sounds so good. Everything is going to be wonderful. You know how we think that. We have our plan in place and we can see how it's going to result in something good or wonderful or fun or be a blessing for us or someone else. But then when they arrived to the home, their destination, they couldn't get near the place. I mean, people were packed around it. They were so eager to have their lives helped, they weren't going to just spread apart and allow these four men with this man on a mat to make their way to Jesus to get a miracle. The plan didn't work, so let's go back home and our friend will just have to stay helpless and in this condition. Oh, thank goodness they didn't think that way. And it's so great when we don't think that way. We refuse to believe we have to stay in that condition. Somewhere in all of that mess that's happened to the plan, there is a benefit. We just have to seek the other option that God is giving us. So these four men did this. In those days in the Palestinian homes, there was a stairway on the outside of the home that a person could use to get up on the rooftop that was flat. I'm sure you've seen them in paintings or in movies about that time period. And these roofs were made of composite of things such as grass and clay tiles. So it wasn't as a roof today that would be hard to tear into. This is why these men were able to make an opening in it. And God was directing them, I'm sure of it, because they were able to make a hole that was right over where Jesus was standing. They made that hole big enough that they could use some ropes to lower him down into the room. It could be that some fishing ropes were lying around. Somehow they got those ropes, and down he went, right in front of Jesus. They have found another option, and they took it. But Jesus is teaching this crowd of people, and all of a sudden he has this interruption. However, he didn't rebuke them or tell them to be quiet or go away. You know why? It's revealed to us in Mark chapter 2. It says he was impressed by their bold belief. That's what gets to Jesus, our bold belief that he can do this. He knew those four men would not have gone to that trouble if they didn't believe he could heal this sick man. And when he sees bold believing, he's going to respond to it. So the first thing he does is he addresses the man's soul and tells him his sins are forgiven. He's proving to the people that he is the Son of God and he can forgive sins. Then he turns to the sick man and he says, Get up, pick up your stretcher and go home. And the man did. He jumped up, grabbed his stretcher, pushed his way past the crowd and walked out of there. What a moment! How phenomenal! The people standing around were rubbing their eyes and wondering if this really just happened. They had proof that they were seeing the Son of God who could not just heal, but forgive sins. Do you see all the benefit that happened because those four men believed that even if their plans had fallen apart, there was another option? And because of it, they could see the benefit of what God could do. The friend was forgiven and healed. They got to see a miracle. All of the crowd of people witnessed it. And Jesus was able to prove to them that he could forgive sins as the Son of God. See the benefit that's before you, in spite of the challenge. Have bold believing. That's when you can enter into the wonderful purpose God has for you. So, what do you see right now? A mess? Failed plans? Disappointment? Things are not going right? By your spirit eyes, see the benefit before you. God is about to show it to you. We are going into prayer, and I believe you're going to be so pleased at what he is doing. So capture that in your heart as we begin to pray. 
Oh, Father, you are changing our view in this hour. Up to now, we haven't seen any other option. It just seems the plans have failed. Nothing is going the way my friend desires. They don't see how they can receive what they knew you had for them. But right now, you're showing them that you have something greater for them. A great benefit. They will see this problem turn into a new plan. Oh, that is your word. The problem will turn into a new plan. You're not out of options. You're just beginning, God. You're just beginning to send the blessing and the benefit. We're about to see a tremendous answer come. It will be so good that we'll be as the crowd that was standing around when that man was healed. We'll be stunned. Hallelujah. I'm expecting for them to see the wonderful power of our God be made manifest. It will happen. We believe it. In fact, we have bold believing God, and we know you respond to that. So take our belief and produce the benefit you have for my friend. In the name of Jesus, amen. Oh, when God enters into the picture, it changes, doesn't it? The plan may have been disrupted, but he sure can still make it good. What appears to be a problem will turn into a plan. Can you believe that God can take that problem and give you a good plan? John and I want to believe by your side for that. We want to see you receive that benefit that God has for you. So we encourage you to get in touch with us. Tell us what doesn't seem to be working out. We're going to dig into that roof that is stopping you and make sure you're brought before the Son of God. Oh, praise God! You can receive your miracle. So we'll begin praying as soon as we hear from you and then expect to receive a letter from us. That's because after we pray, you need to hear the words that God wants to speak into your life. So get in touch soon. All right, here's our spiritual power line. Go around saying these words of faith. I mean, when you say this, you're showing your bold believing. And God said he'll respond to that. So go around saying these words. I have better options. I have better options. Don't see what's before you and think that's your only option. God has so much more He can do for you. Discover all of your options by getting this message. We'll send all five parts to you and the prayer times. The name of it is You Have Other Options. It's offer number AM828. That's 828. We'd be happy to send a CD of it to you for a gift of $8 into the ministry. Or you can go to our website and there you can download it for a gift of $5. Just call or write or go to alcopministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T Ministries dot O-R-G. And hey, when you're at the website, be sure to check out our videos. These are very short, yet powerful, inspirational messages. God can really speak to your heart and show you what He can do for your life. So be sure to watch our videos. You can see them on our website, Facebook, or YouTube.com. Now, John and I thank you so much for giving into this ministry. We have expanded the number of radio stations that you can hear Word of Power broadcast. So help us get out God's Word and His miracles, and then expect miracles in your life because you obeyed Him in your giving. I look so forward to being together again tomorrow. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We believe God's Spirit is moving in a mighty way. So don't miss the opportunity for Jeannie and John to pray over your life in a personal way. As you share with them, they will intercede by faith for you to receive all God has for you. Call 918-459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 3400, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma 74013 or go to our website at alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries.org. There you can also listen to Word of Power broadcasts, as well as request special gift offers and be blessed by devotionals. Now, we encourage you to get a copy of this message and give a gift into God's work. Then, expect Him to grow your giving into wonderful miracles. Be with us next time for a Word of Power.